Hello, good morning. I'm Sunny Manuel. Today we'll be looking at the concept of inflation. Now, what is inflation? When the price of goods and services is increasing, we talk of inflation. How do we mean? Now, if you went to the market last week to buy biscuit, a packet of biscuit, and you were told that a packet of biscuit is five naira, and then you go to the market today and you told that you were told that the packet of biscuit is now twenty naira, what happened? The price of a packet of biscuit has increased from five naira to twenty naira. So this increase in the price of biscuit from 5 naira to 20 naira is what we call inflation. So if anybody asks you what is inflation, it just simply tells the person increase in price of goods and services. So when we talk of inflation, we mean two things. Now the first one is that the prices of goods and services have increased. That's the first one. Then the second one is that there are few products in the market. Because of the few products in the market, prices tend to increase. So these are two things you have to note about inflation the first one is that the, the prices have increased because of money in circulation then the second one is that there are few goods and services in the market now what are the types of inflation the first type of inflation is demand pool inflation it's just from the word demand when so many persons want to buy a particular product and there's less of that product in the market we cause inflation that's on demand pool inflation then for cost push inflation when the cost of producing particular goods and services increase, when the cost has increased, has increased, producers will also increase the price of their commodity. For example, if you want to buy biscuit and producers say ah, the cost of producing biscuit is, is, is high, they will transfer the high cost of producing biscuit to the price. Then you have galloping inflation. You know, when you talk of galloping inflation, I'm talking of imagine an horse that is jumping, you know, they gallop. So when the price of goods and services are increasing from 5 naira to 20 naira to 30 naira to 50 naira to 100 naira, we are talking of galloping inflation. Then you have persistent inflation when the prices of goods and services are steadily increasing, steadily increasing over time. Then you talk of persistent inflation. Then you look at what are the causes of inflation. There are, there are three causes of inflation we are going to discuss. Of course, there are other causes. Now, one of the causes is that there is too much money in circulation that is your parents are paid too much money market women are paid too much money your friends have money everybody have money that they want to spend and because of the increased amount of money in circulation it will cause inflation then the second one you look at war or fighting you see when there is war or fighting people will not produce goods and services your parents cannot go to farm your market women cannot go to the market everybody will be running for their dear life and what will happen production will fall there will be no more biscuit in the market, there will be no more sweets in the market. And then children will not have any product to buy, and so it will cause inflation. Then you have increase in population. When the population is constantly increasing over time, it will cause inflation. Because too much people will be looking for products, goods and services to buy, but few goods and services will be available. So what are the controls of inflation? We only have, let me give you just two principles of controlling inflation. The first one is to reduce the amount of money in circulation. When your parents earn money and government is taxing them and or when business women have little amount of money the, the, the thing is they, they tend to consume less of particular products because they will not have money to buy and when they don't have money to buy inflation will be due and the next one is to produce more when you produce more there will be too much goods and services in the market so that everybody can consume and then price will come down so the two principles one reduce money in circulation then the second one increase production thank you very much